Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Coach Rock here, the official trainer for I Love Basketball TV. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a simple drill that you can use every single day that's gonna help you purify your jump shot, help you start shooting better in real game situations. This is a drill I love to do, especially with my younger players, because it helps them develop the confidence, it helps them have repetition of good, proper form for their jump shot, and it helps them continue to improve and be more confident in real game situations. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, so how this works is first, we're gonna start in close. So we'll start with mid range shots so we can build our confidence, we can build our consistency, build our comfort in our shot. So you will start with however our shooting stance is. So whatever feels most comfortable for you, you're gonna go. First thing you're gonna do is shoot. And then you're gonna run and catch and shoot. So you get two repetitions of perfect form or your perfect form. So you get one here. As it drops, you're stepping in to your next shot. So you're practicing catching the ball and shooting. You're practicing good footwork. You're practicing good form. You're practicing everything in one and you're getting two repetitions to do it. So you can either start here like that, rolling it to yourself and then getting into it. Or you could just go stationary, spin it to yourself like that, stationary, right into your shot and then shoot again. Let's take a look at this live. So we're here, that's one rep. Step right into your shot and knock it down. Do that again. Shot, step into your shot. Knock it down. So you can notice you'll start to build comfort in your shot. And you can also notice what I'm doing here is I'm simulating the same shot twice. So it's here, up, walking into it, same thing. Getting straight into it and you start getting comfortable and it starts becoming second nature. Same form, everything, every time. Now the next thing you can do is practice the opposite footwork because look, sometimes you're not gonna catch left, right. Sometimes you might be coming off a pick and you're right, left plant. You still gotta be keep everything the same though. All that's changing is the right, left plant. So we can practice that here. Shot. And then get right into it. So now you're practicing both different footworks. So you're mastering being able to shoot off the left and right plant, the left to right plant, and the right to left plant. Very key to being a great shooter because if I'm coming off picks, I'll be left right here, come this way, I'm right left there. So it's very important to be comfortable shooting off both of your plants, both footwork um, to keep your shot going smooth. And then last but not least, of course, can't forget the hop, right? Because you can also shoot off the hop. So we'll practice that last. So we're here, hop, and hit. Just get comfortable shooting. Some coaches want to teach only the hop, some only the one, two. I believe you need to be able to shoot off of all of them because in the games, you get different shots off different. Sometimes you're going to catch like this, shoot. Sometimes you're going to catch off the hop. Sometimes you're going to catch the other footwork. So be able to master them all. All right, this time we're stepping back. 
here, same thing. And we're hitting, of course, the left, right. This time we're going to the right, left plant. Then last but not least, we're gonna hit the hop. So next we're gonna add the next step to this move. So we're here, same thing. But this time, gonna make a quick move off the catch. So that trains you Catch the ball here, and you can make a quick dribble move off of the catch. So same thing here, boom. Just like that. So just practice different moves you would do. Once you get that down from mid range, of course, going straight to the three. So now you can start to see how all this comes together because now you're getting used to shooting off either foot, whether it's off the catch. This also translates to catching off the move, different plants. Not only that, but then you're developing an extra phase to the drill where you're practicing catching and making a quick move. So if you see your defense might be, let's say he thinks you're gonna drive so you hit here, but then you quickly cross over. That could be all you need to get enough space for your shot. So by practicing these moves, boom, off that, just practicing different types of moves you can do to free yourself up for the shot makes it much easier. If you found today's video helpful, I have a free training program that I wanna give to you. All you have to do is click the first link that's pinned in the comments. It's gonna take you to a page that just asks you for your first name, ask you for your email, you put in that information, I'll instantly send you over access, your username and password so you can get started today. If you enjoyed the video, do me a big favor, hit the thumbs up, comment below, let me know what else you want me to talk about. Last but not least, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you never miss another video. Until next time, I'll see you then.